Now in the first part of this question then, what we've got to do is fill in this tree diagram. And if we fill in the values, I'll fill in the values for you, but what I'm going to say at the end of this video is that I would want to add a lot more to it than just filling in the values because it's going to greatly affect our interpretation later on in this question. Anyway, first of all, because we've got 12 balls, 5 are red, 7 would then be 12, then the probability of drawing a red ball would be 5 out of 12. So let's just put the 5 twelfths here. That would be, for blue, that would be 7 twelfths. Now if we took a red ball, we're told that we spin a bias coin and the probability of getting ahead would be 2 thirds. So that means that the probability of getting a tails would be 1 third. And if we drew a blue ball, we spin the coin, but this time it's a fair coin and the probability of getting ahead then would be a half and the probability of getting tails would be also a half. So there's our tree diagram and for that you would get four marks. But what I would encourage you to do is to add to this diagram. I would say that this is the probability of getting a red this would be the probability of getting a blue. Now this one here is not the probability of getting ahead because this is going to lead to errors as I say later on or possible errors anyway. This is the probability of getting ahead given that we drew a red ball first of all. H given R, that equals two thirds. So this means that this branch here will be the probability of getting a tail given that we drew a red previously. For this one, this will be the probability of getting a head, given that I drew a blue ball. And here, this will be the probability of getting tails, given that I drew a blue ball. And that's what I would encourage you to do. And as I say, you'll see how this develops in the later questions in this particular question, okay?